In this video, I'm going to show how to perform analysis with Cox proportional hazard regression using SPSS. The analysis by Cox regression is very similar to that by logistic regression. And SPSS command for analyzing these two models is very similar. So if you have done logistic regression in SPSS, so you should have easy time performing Cox regression with SPSS. So only difference is how to interpret the coefficient. Because now exponential of beta coefficient is a hazard ratio. So that's the only difference. So let's perform Cox regression with SPSS. And data set we use today is VARCT trial of cabbage. And so this trial, uh, there are 354 patients randomized to medical treatment and 332 patients were randomized to cabbage. And we follow them for 22 years for mortality, all-cause mortality. And we are going to analyze mortality up to six years. And so six-year outcomes are these two. So status six indicate zero four being alive at six years and one four being deceased at about the end of six years. And severe six is a survival time up to six years. So uh, for people who died within six years, and these are the time at death. And people who did not die in time would be a time at last seen or six years. And this is a cabbage variable, treatment variable. One is for cabbage and zero is for medical therapy. So let's, as a review, let's fit the Kaplan-Meier curve. And then we will do same analysis with Cox regression. And then we will repeat analysis with Cox regression. So first you go to analyze survival in Kaplan-Meier. Okay. And time variable is survivor 6. And status variable is status 6. And so we need to tell SPSS what the number we are using for event of death. So we put one here. And then we put the treatment variable under factor. Okay. And then you click on survival. And let's go ahead to click on log long test. So this will put the p-value comparing the two survival curves. Okay. So this is a Kaplan-Meier curve. And we are looking at all cause mortality up to six years. And Kaplan-Meier curve gives you p-value, which is based on log long test, although it does not give you hazard ratio. So if you want to put the hazard ratio on this graph, and you need to go to Cox regression and then obtain hazard ratio. So you go to Cox regression now. And it's Time is serve year 6, it's the same variable, and status is status 6, it's the same variable. And then we let SPSS know what the coding we used for event of death. And so now, uh, the box you have is very similar to logistic regression. So you put the independent variable, which is a cabbage, and cabbage is a binary variable of 0, 1 coded, so we put under covariate. And if you have a categorical variable with more than two categories, and you need to specify a categorical box. Okay, this is very similar with logistic regression. Okay, cabbage is zero one coded, so we are not going to worry about specifying treatment under categorical box. Okay, and let's continue. And okay. So this is the result of a Cox regression. And this is a beta coefficient, which is a log of hazard ratio. So in order to get the hazard ratio, you grab number from exponential of beta, which is 0.768. So based on this, and we can say, uh, we can say the probability of dying, which is a hazard, probability of dying at instant, this is instantaneous risk. Okay. So anytime you look at during 60 years, probability of dying is reduced by 23% with cabbage versus medical treatment. However, this result is not statistically significant because p-value is greater than 0.05.
So similar to what we did in logistic regression analysis. So let's look at if there is any specific group of patient and who could still benefit from cabbage. So let's split data by LMD status. Uh, so we are going to analyze data and with and without uh, left main disease. So to do that, again, in SPSS, and we go to split file and uh, split data by LMD. So after you do this, you do this, you specify this step, and all analysis you perform in SPSS will be performed separately for patient with and without left main disease. So we go back to Cox regression and simply click OK. So now this top line is a Cox regression of assessing effect of cabbage, only including patient with out left main disease. So hazard ratio is 0.879 and p-value is not significant. And a bottom line is a Cox regression assessing effect of treatment among patient with left main disease. Okay. So these are two separate Cox regressions. So using so looking at patient with left main disease among patient with left main disease. And now we can say cabbage reduce risk of dying by 63% anytime during six years of follow up. And that was significant. Although in patient with left main disease, cabbage decreased risk of death by 12% anytime during six years. Or you can say by average uh, in six years. And p-value indicate no statistical difference. And so now we want to put the evidence to show these two hazard ratios are different. So we are going to do interaction analysis. And to do that, and we split, unsplit the file, okay? And go back to Cox regression, right? So now we need to include um, interaction between treatment and LMD. But in order to include interaction, we had to include all one-way terms. So let's put LMD by itself. And then now we have uh, we need to um, include interaction. Okay, so you can use either shift button or control button. Keep pushing it, and then this get highlighted, and then you push, and then you create interaction term. Then go ahead to click OK. Okay, so this is the model with interaction, and then you go to look at the p value for the cross product term. So if this is significant, then you can tell the effect of cabbage in LMD and effect of cabbage in non-LMD patients are different, statistically different. So if the someone else repeat your study and they're likely to observe similar difference in their study. Okay, so uh, now let's look at parameters in this regression with interaction term. So if you look at beta coefficient or odds ratio for the treatment, main effect of treatment, and this is the same as effect of cabbage among patients with no left main disease. And if you want to compute hazard ratio of cabbage for patient with left main disease, and what you do is you multiply this has a ratio for the main effect of treatment and this has a ratio for the interaction term. So if you multiply 0.88 times 0.399 and that will match with hazard ratio of cabbage for patient with left main disease. By saying that, I think you know by now what is hazard ratio for the interaction mean. So this is simply the ratio Okay, 0 0.33, 0 0.399, 0 0.399 is a ratio between left main disease specific effect of a treatment. So uh, you have two hazard ratio, 
0.879 and 0.365 so if you divide 0.365 by 0.879 and that number should match with hazard ratio for the interaction term okay so if you divide 0.6 0.365 by 0.879 and that should match with hazard ratio for the induction 0.399 okay and then uh, this p-value assess whether this ratio is equal to 1 which means if the beta is equal to 0 okay and if beta is 0 uh, log of b is 0 and exponential of b b1 and if the ratio is 1 and that means uh, effect of cabbage in left main disease is no different from effect of cabbage in left main disease so there is no interaction and so now uh, p-value is less than point of 5 so we can say these two hazard ratios are statistically different so we have evidence for the interaction or effect modification so if there is interaction and we want to show effect of cabbage separately for patient with and without left main disease okay because that's very important finding and next analysis we want to repeat similar analysis with diabetes so we go back to Cox regression okay so now we want to see if there is an effect there is an interaction if the cabbage effect of cabbage is different by the fact patient have diabetes okay, compared to that patient doesn't have diabetes so we split data by diabetes and then go to Cox regression and then let's look at effect of cabbage differently for patient with and without diabetes so click OK so now effect of cabbage have that ratio showing effect of cabbage is 0 0.801 for patient without diabetes and effect of cabbage have that ratio for effect of cabbage is 0 0.629 for patient with diabetes Okay. so now let's see if these two hazard ratios are statistically different if there is interaction so we do same thing so we are going to unsplit the data and then go back to Cox regression right so now we want to assess if there is treatment diabetes interaction so here we need to put diabetes as itself okay so in order to put to y induction you have to include any uh, lower order of terms so main effect you have to include and you click ok right and now p-value for induction is not significant so we could we probably should give up and p-value is pretty large if this is 0 0.2 0 0.15 and we might uh, still try to show the difference in how that ratio but p for interaction is too it's very large and clinically a hazard ratio is 0 0.8 20 percent reduction versus 38 percent reduction if you think no, this is not large enough different then uh, we are going to give up to show the differential effect of cabbage by diabetes and we drop the induction term from the model we still want to keep diabetes as a main effect and because it might confound your um, effect it might confound confound effect of the cabbage okay so in this analysis, um, diabetes is significant. So having a diabetes, higher risk of dying. And although the effect of treatment is point, hazard ratio is 0 0.766 and it was not significant. And we use the same role to judge whether the diabetes is confounded or not. In order to do that, you compare 
Diabetes Adjusted Effect of Cabbage, which is this one, 0.7662. To unadjusted effect of cabbage so you go back to very original analysis okay so this one okay the only uh, treatment is in equation so hazard ratio here is 0 0.768 and there is not much difference uh, in with diabetes adjusted hazard ratio of cabbage so we conclude diabetes is not the confounding effect of cabbage and again this is RCT so we didn't have to worry too much about confounding in RCT uh, of course we can still have interaction or effect modification so it was important to assess whether the effect of cabbage was modified by uh, LMD or diabetes or patient characteristics